Alright, here we go. Here we go, man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Here we go, bye, bye, bye. Good evening, City of Dreams. Albert! All eyes are on the Pentagon and Repa Shop. Hey! Which is now in its fourth round. Five, five. I am ready for five, five. Are still vying for their shot of victory. Hmm. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? Yep. <clears throat> Where's Fi Fi? With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. Oh. Uh. Not to mention a pool party. Akron! Akron JV! <laughs> Miss Akron! Hey! Didn't we all agree to the swimsuit dress code? Oh, I like to see her in a swimsuit. A swimsuit. <laughs> hmm. Is that what we agreed? Dad, <laughs> but you. <laughs> me. Oh, she got you there. Can I borrow you? Wait, is that woman again? Is that woman? <laughs> oh, Madam Jane. Jade. So, what brings you here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the corporation is planning to ah, increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jade. Where's Fi Fi? You are PC. <laughs> Even I saw the picture of Fi Fi. Pleasure doing business. <laughs> okay. Uh, Miss Bye -bye. Yeah, Miss Bye -bye. Hey, can you do the transformation thingy? It's Bye -bye. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, now's the perfect time. Sam? Okay. It's just there's a lot of people around. <laughs> no problem. If anything goes I like, wrong, I like Bye -bye TV. just blame your good buddy Albert. Mm, in that case. Check out the newest upgrade. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shall set the seas ablaze. All right, then. Oh, oh, a trailer. Oh, do it. A trailer comes. To me, oh. hiding is more than just. <laughs> Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Oh. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend. Sparkle. I put a bomb on this ship. Yeah. You have ten minutes to find it. Like this is like fair wear for for Pentacone, right? No. Oh. oh! Oh, this music! Oh, oh this music! See him, dude. Sam. And fight, fight. Always remember. Don't leave with any regrets. Don't leave any regrets. Wait. So now. Jade! Do you understand what you must give up, Miss Sam? Oh. Oh! Okay! Even from here point. Okay, Jade! Wait, is she about to step on people? Or step on someone? Okay, she is bad. Wait, is that a snake? For me. Huh. Uh -oh. The script isn't over yet. The script is not over. A while, little Helena. I what? propose a Wait, what? Wait, everything moving so fast! Dude, wait, fight, fight! Wait, what? What is happening? Dude, everything's moving so fast! Can I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Wait, Jane so know about the simulation universe? It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Oh, farewell, Patagoni! Oh, that's not Fi Fi! <gasps> oh, no! Fi Fi was nice! <laughs> but, dude, everything's just moving so fast! Like, I like, I see Fi Fi ranging up to the sky, got that sparkle dawn, and we up there, it's like... And push the button. Yeah, I know that button, but like to explore Pinnacone. But still, it's dude. Everything just moving so fast. But I saw Firefly. Dude, it kind of might be from Hong Kong Impact. But what happened there? Ooh, Look at the wallpaper. Cool. It's my favorite. Even Firefly in it. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Good evening, I'm Albert. Albert. Your friendliest feathered announcer. I love you, Albert. To the version 2.3. Farewell, Pentacone special program. Yeah, yeah. For today's program, we have with us a Galaxy Ranger as well uh, as a Stellaron Hunter. Uh-oh. Not to mention 
a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, Madam Jade. Ego. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. Hmm. You I can like call me I like me. So, what exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone. I Sam's Firefly here. Firefly. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Now, Dude, I love those three cheapies. It's cute. They we cute. agreed to a pool party. Oh. Welcome, I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit. Oh, Albert. <laughs> we thought you were joking. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Uh. Don't worry, Albert. Madam Jade's investment is on the way. Next time for sure. I guess it won't anyway, be next time. <laughs> take a look around, you guys. We're coming to you live from the skies above Pentaconis in none other than the Radiant Felt Spa Airship. Oh, quite a luxurious setting. Hmm. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion needed, Miss Acheron. I just wanted to give everyone a taste of Pentaconis history. <laughs> Over to you, Madam Jade. <laughs> One amber era ago, Odia Falfa. The Pentaconia Audi Falfa family head Audi invested a large sum in constructing the Radiant Feldspar airship. Aside from the opulent Ooh. Park, ballroom, and recreation facilities, Dude. one could simply relax at the pool. That looks that's kind of a little fancy. Of Soul Glad. Ooh. That's why they're on the cruise. This grand airship has sailed above Pentaconia's Sea of Dreams Ooh. for an entire amber era. That's kind of like my kind of dream. Services only recently. In the wake of the crisis. Oh. The trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In <laughs> case you weren't aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Only the family's most esteemed guests are invited to take in such breathtaking aerial views of Pinnacone. It's so breathtaking you that. and fancy. After three whole versions, Farewell, the trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? Oh, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, we got a vacation. Recent battle against the order caused great disturbance at Panacone. Correct. The Charmony Festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public must be reassured. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family. The major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feld Spar as witnesses to important family discussions. Uh, but if the okay. factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The, mm, the order has stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. Oh, I'm pity none of okay. this razzle dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, a venturing may have been digging up dirt on the family in Dreamflux Reef. Huh? I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit to Penacony. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on Penacony? Never say never. Uh, the gosh dang IPC. <laughs> oh, for the Amber Lord, baby. <laughs> Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. They do. What a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone? Oh, yeah. I remember. It's from Sparkle. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she. <laughs> she has some secrets. Pushing the button really caused Penacone to explode. Like she's kind of just want to destroy Penacone. <gasps> Only one way to find out. <gasps> Wait, she got the button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone, take a deep breath, okay? <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with a certain blonde-haired director. I'm not putting the bill if you blow up the radiant bell spa. Please don't blow up Penacone. Let's leave <laughs> these mysteries for the trailers to explore again. Huh? 
<laughs> it's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the honor guest be, I hear you ask? Oh, yes. <sighs> Just when they're about to get interesting, Albert hands things over to the Trailblazers again. Family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. All right, then. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Oh, yep, because we already know. We already know. It's Fi Fi. We already know Fi Fi. There she is. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm, I'm always so happy to see her. But now this is the moment. Dude, this is the moment that we finally can see Fi Fi as Playboy. <laughs> Firefly is a member of the Stellar ah! Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth? Glamoth? The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set? Uh. I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes. Mm. Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Oh. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. <laughs> they piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes. Ooh. And bade farewell to many. Dude, <laughs> don't mind that. What's to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sams. Wait, what? Ooh, oh, that. she has a point. You're thinking, Madam J. Hmm. Perhaps the answer to that question lies in Firefly's myriad Celestia and animated shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Count me in. All I right. was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Well, let me guess. Whoa. Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kafka put them together. Huh? Well, that sounds a little too professional. For I us. wish they would did. Yeah, well, speaking well, of. Well, I think they wish they did. I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. Yay! I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. Fire. When using my technique during exploration, mm -hmm. I summon my Sam armor. Oh. Sam can leap into the air. Uh -huh. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. Oh, dude. Quite the heroic entry. That's awesome. After using technique to enter battle for every wave of enemies, Weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. Mm. In battle, Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP, while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. <laughs> the lower the HP, the less damage sustained. Mm. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? <laughs> When using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, Dude, speed that looks so also cool. Increase. Speed when also increases. enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So, oh, <laughs> Dude, I love allows it. Us to get a glimpse Wait, of is that like flies view from the mech? Oh, just That's like face cam. Gaze if I ever saw one. It's like a face cam. Enough to set the yep. seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome. <laughs> I want to set the seas ablaze. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. The complete combustion state's enhanced skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. Oh. The flames that Sam emits Ooh. when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. Ooh. And is that a That's countdown a icon on the action bar? That's right. Uh. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. Uh. It seems oh. like the effects of Firefly's abilities okay. all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs. That's why Firefly is the best to choose. Super break? Mm-hmm. 
That's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey. What a wonderful coincidence. Yes, it is. 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited great the Wastemaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. It's great to be a Trailblazer. That's what it's all about. Hmm. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. Oh, what's the activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update? Trailblazers can obtain a shadow of harmony through the when Charmony rings out event screen, oh. thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's Eidolon level. And if I haven't had time to experience Penacony yet, don't worry. Oh. After locking the path of preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the path of harmony early through the when Charmony rings out event screen. Okay, oh. make it easy for us. I hope the will of the Trailblaze reaches everyone on this journey. I love Pentacony, seriously. Now, without further ado, I don't. I do not want everyone to stop supporting. A highly respected IPC director, a little better. Enter Madam J. Okay, here we go. All right. Madam J. Okay. Wow. Purple. Wait. That, yeah, that is. That's a snake. Oh, she got something. Wait, she's just stopping on the ground with the paper on the floor. Dude. Jade is a director of the wow. RPC Strategic Investment Department. Wow. And a member of the Ten Stone Arts. She is as beautiful as she is elegant. She is and beautiful. And the upcoming Radiant Fells discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skills. In hmm. contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, using oh. emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. Mm. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap no matter how hard you struggle. Oh. I think the term you're looking for is femme fatale. Femme fatale. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Oh. And Jade also has oh. a hobby by the name of Bonna Jade Exchange. Bonna Jade Exchange. Essentially, oh, though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience. Uh, with you on the menu, one swish of the contract. Okay, I think this is why you don't want to mess with her. Credits out of pocket. Mm -mm. <laughs> Watch your step, Trailblazers. <laughs> Jay's goal always aligns with her own. I gotta keep an eye on her. Plays the long game, whetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. Oh, she first draws her customers into a vortex of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable. Oh boy. Leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. I gotta keep my eyes on her. Why is everyone staring at me? Because you're saying some stuff. Didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? <gasps> Albert, are you becoming what? a villain? What was I getting? <gasps> Albert? Oh. Uh, so what exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Oh, boy. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, my basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets. A blast damage dealing basic attack? Oh. Exactly that. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the signee attacks the enemy, they can deal additional damage, but at the expense of consuming their own HP. Why? Why? Enhancement in exchange for HP. Oh, that's kind of. Is that what people mean by that's... bestowing poison the... in the guise of sweet dew? Oh, <laughs> that is like paying well, the price. You sign an if agreement, you pay the price. Assignee, that's what it feels the like. The speed boost and <laughs> HP consumption effects do not apply. Hmm? When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. 
when charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. The IPCs sure enjoy a follow-up attack. It seems that the Strategic Investment Department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, then are the punish destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? You could say that, Firefly. <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. Just a single sheet of paper. Oh, <laughs> just a sheet, Signing a away single paper. Of your life to others is all too easy. It's like paying the price. <gasps> Poor Albert. Albert, you have he to pay the price. Been doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Albert, you Wait, still got a lot to learn. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> oh, he's awake. How are you feeling, Albert? <laughs> you won't be retiring anytime soon. But then, neither will your program. Silver Linus! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? Oh, I wouldn't trouble yourself with that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? <gasps> oh, banners! Yeah, we're gonna about to go banners! In version 2.3's first half will prevent... Fight fights go first and ruin it, man! I've been waiting for a game, both of them! As well as the limited five-star character on me. Get ready for both. I'm ready for both of them. Drop rates for the limited five-star light cone. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna plan on getting both of them. As well as the limited light cone pass up and mirror will be boosted. All right then. Uh, Miss Firefly. Mm. She must yearn for the world beyond the cold confines of her surroundings. Faint lights flickering in the midst of a dark forest. Meanwhile, mm. in 2.3's second half will prevent, Trailblazers okay. can acquire the limited five-star character Jade and our resident Knight of Beauty, Hajinti, who will also be joining the lineup. Hmm. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone yet hope is priceless as well as the light cone an instant before games will be boosted. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So, even the fierce Just ready for both. Fire, fire, and roommate. Mm. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. Oh, I and thought it was at first. The brand new four star light Sunday? After the Charmony Fall, will also be joining the war. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Sunday is right now. Oh, good question. <sighs> I think we all need a glass of soul layer. Hmm. But no good anywhere, Trailblazers. Oh. After the break. We'll be talking 2.3 events. All right. Welcome back, dear viewers. All right. Let's tuck right into version 2.3's brand new events. Yeah, yeah. Uh... A significant update to the simulated universe. Yeah, so exciting. <laughs> Did Mr. Scroolum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it. Led by Mr. Scroolum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main oh. research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Radiant Feldspar. Bingo number two, let me tell you a little more about it. Yeah, First, tell me about that thing. A groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. Mapping in the function. Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can switch between characters they already possess. <gasps> huh. Wait, what? So they can create their own lineups? Precisely. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning, hmm. if one of my characters is level one, 
but I use them in the Divergent universe. It increases to a set level? You got it! Oh. So handy! But what if a character has the level but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> We're not! In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. All right, the light dude. Things are automatic. Me too. Ain't it great? Now we mustn't overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainwave equation. Oh. A buff combination of two different paths. Before oh. the start of every test, dude, this is so cool. You have the opportunity to select a random equation, and for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate, and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. Oh. So the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate it? You nailed it. And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. That's mm. so considerate. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it oh. works both ways. You could adjust hey, your look at that damage. to better suit your current Wi-Fi? equation. Hmm. I want to see Trailblazers mix it and match it. Oh, so I can't wait for that I one. I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing. Or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? Of course. By visiting the workbench of creation, Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings or even enhanced. Huh? Ooh. Has the Curio store added more purchasable items? No, no way. Am I hallucinating? Am I imagining Did this? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? What, seriously? The Curio system has been upgraded. In addition to normal Curios, Trailblazers can also choose from weighted Curios. These curios are more suited what? to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. Separately, we should also take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted or even land you with negative curios. Wow. Sometimes that's like real gambling. Point can lead to very <laughs> different outcomes. Luck is an important component. Uh, it sure is. That's why I meant to go into the casino. Introduce an impressive hmm. optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. All right, when Albert. Suffering defeat in the simulated universe. Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. <gasps> Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new lineup. What? Oh, I've always wanted that function. Me too. After completing each test Dude, in Divergent that's Universe, that's so good, man. Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easy. Oh, thank you, it's making this awesome easy. Oh, Albert, it's just, didn't you forget something important? Something important. What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh. The planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Oh? Choose the planar ornament you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Dude, no way! Huh? You mean... You, you can skip you can ahead? Skip ahead? You just need to defeat the boss to get quick access to the planar ornaments? Dude! Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silver Wolf put out there? Dude, this is is this is real? Keep it down. The last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. 
Ew. A brand new simulated universe. Dude, that makes it so easy. Sounds worth a try. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. <laughs> the divergent universe will be adding two new planar ornaments. Durant, oh. Dynasty of Running Wolves, and Ford of the Kalpagni Lantern. Kalpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar ornament extraction function to get a hold of them. Dude, I can't wait for those. Dude, this is insane. I love it. The Divergent Universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, mm. in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, uh -oh. Madam Herda has added the five-star erudition light cone Eternal Calculus to the store. Wait, what? Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herda bonds. Oh, it sounds like the level that make it easy for us. The universe is really high. Faster access to planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. I know, right? Big improvements indeed. In the vast big universe, improvements indeed. Beyonds are beyond our reach. Humanity must learn <laughs> to rise from its falls and strike its own path. Ew. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> I can't wait for that, that story coming up about sci-fi. More about ourselves. Yes! I look forward. To the memories. I'm looking oh, forward to that story. It looks insane. A human companion. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from all of this, in Pentacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious creed Exequi. Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince and the experiences of your deadly struggles. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow. Apocalyptic Shadow. Reef and Experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the finality? Not necessarily. Oh. A new permanent challenge mode? So what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their <gasps> journey. We're going back to the boss fights? Two enemies. Which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. No way! The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow <laughs> are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating hmm. enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. Ooh, they're making That's this fun right. good. And after the first time clearance oh. of Apocalyptic Shadows set difficulty, <gasps> we get three hundred jades. can obtain the four-star character Shui Yi, as well as three hundred stellar jades and self-modeling resin. Oh, they were so good to us. We're just getting warmed up. Uh oh, there's Let's more. Take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update oh. and last for six weeks. Oh, they make it a schedule. Every for version those. will rotationally update according to the following sequence Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall, just as before. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system oh. functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. On oh, the permanent wow. game mode preparation screen, Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Aww. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's talk rewards, shall we? Oh, look at all those rewards. Of Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers can earn a maximum of 720 <gasps> Stellar J. What? 720. 720? You might want to take another look at our agreement. Wait, more than that? 
Wait, there's more than that? The maximum number of stellar jades. 800. In space with a forgotten hull. Pure fiction and apocalyptic shadows. I don't know. Challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. Dude, that's insane. The increase will be funded through Albert salary. That go with Albert salary? <gasps> it's like I said. Dude. Making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. That's why you don't want to mess with Jade. <laughs> well then. Following this change, Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,400 Stellar Jades. <laughs> the permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbert's seen the bright side. <laughs> Come on, Albert. Look at the bright side. Keep it together, Albert. Hang in there, buddy. Mm. There you go. In the upcoming version, the origami birds also venture into origami the birds. radiant feldspar. What is Bring going on with this, game. dude? They doing Here's good to us. Trailblazers can help to test it out. Hmm. An arcade game? Huh. Oh. Let me give Silverwolf a call. Oh. These origami birds are very endearing. But yeah. Why uh, do I have a sense of deja vu? Can we see those origami birds? <laughs> this arcade game. <clears throat> Trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified oh. number of steps in order to increase oh, I, the bird's combat power. Oh, I, the I, oh, I know those get, kind of games. I love these kind of games like these. According to the difference in combat values. Dude, that is so cool. HP returns to zero, like my bank account. Victory what? is sealed. Wait. This gameplay. Game. Could it really be? Alpha's so bank account. Legendary. I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. <laughs> Dude, I want to play that game. It's really awesome. I like those kind of mini games. with friends from across the universe. Can I fight Silverwolf? Uh, of course. Huh? Be they old buddies or gaming acquaintances, all can connect and play. Get tested. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> the next event is called Stellar Shimmer. Does that name ring any bells for anyone? Uh, stellar. Stel stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? Huh? You're a sharp one, this Zacharon. A sequel? Stellar Shimmer brings with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the key to victory. Whoa. These mechanisms. Care to divulge a little more? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, extra. characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. No way! Does that mean trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Dude, this is insane. Um, I love it. Defeat as many waves of enemies as possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. <laughs> oh man, this is good, dude! Don't go anywhere. Huh? Our fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. Well, there's still more! Well, uh, right. viewers, first up, it's the return of a nail biting and thrilling tradition. What is that? <gasps> Give an Odyssey! Check in for Look at all this! Rewards. In Five Fives wallpaper behind it. There's also version 2.3's double events. Our good friends, Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange. Oh. Double planar ornaments and materials? What's oh, not to love? <laughs> What's not to love? This version are the newly added cavern relics. Oh, new Iron relics. Cavalry against I... the Scourge and the Wind Soaring Valorous. Okay. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge to obtain them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget the new Path of Erudition Trace materials that'll be added to the brand new Calyxes, rough sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored draft. Oh. For trailblazers who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Mm, so many updates. Dude, this is so good. Wait for this version to drop. Hey, this feels like a good day and we're of this. At the end of the version 2.3 special program. No. It's about time we bade farewell to this white knight. To Pentacony. And for everyone's support and viewership. 
I eagerly await the version 2.3 story. Me too! Here's hoping the Pentacony discussions make for smooth sailing. <laughs> Please, Trailblazers, do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. I'm looking forward Don't to Firefly. to try them out. Oh, yeah, I will. Uh, in that case, see you in the next stream, Trailblazers. I'm ready for Firefly. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. I'll be waiting for Bye. you, too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you, Firefly. Yes. Hmm? Wait, there's still more? Hold on, there's still more? Hold on. That's it. That's it. I made it. Wait, Firefly's giving him. I? I got. So to them. Whoa. Whoa, oh, Albert. They're too, names. they're too afraid to read out for themselves. Okay, take it easy, Albert. Enough Calm down. All these years, working my tail for this opera. Wait. The IPC, and even the if Albert become a villain. I'm an intern. Wait, Albert's trying to become a villain? <laughs> Albert's a villain? There's enough salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new event. Uh-oh. I guess the Albert... Audacity. Okay, I think Albert is angry. Is this... Is, is, is Albert's going to turn to a villain? You too. Get out. Oh. Wait, shall we teacup? Wait, what? Ha! Tell that to Sunday. Now listen up. The three years are up. I quit. If you didn't know already, I was quitting. I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. Ha 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 ha! You can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. Well, actually, what? without all the water, in seven days I mentioned they do the same thing. I, you. Huh? <laughs> wow. Well, he just passed out. What we do now? Well, it's fine. He he on his part, director. Real thing. Ladies and gentlemen. Man. Welcome. To the most important event in the Cienjo calendar. Cienjo calendar? The opening session is right around the corner. Hello? Here, you will witness members from all Cienjo delegations fight for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. Ooh. First up, put your hands together for the Cienjo Yao Ching delegation. Fierce and swift, his face shall. Face shall. Claw. Wait, what? And by his side, <laughs> he doesn't drink plain soup. What in the world? No time for Corey. Jaiku. It's the celebrated medicinal chef, Jiao Cho. Jiao Cho. What the heck did I just read? What in the world? Up next, he's cold and silent as a hunting shadow. Moza. The crow feathered the, weirdo. The crow feathered Moza. weirdo. Moza. <laughs> He come a fellow widow. delegation. Strong and righteous is Hawaiian. Hawaiian. The flaming, the flaming heart. heart. And now. Oh. He strikes while the iron is hot and for Wait, and those are like the new characters? You, it's one of the flame Yunli. 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 The flame will often. Wait, did these look like the new characters that might come out in the new update? The official host oh, they just introduced new characters Let's hear it for, for the new update. The Lao Fu. Lao Fu. Please welcome, having suddenly returned home for the victory lap. Nisha. The new Alchemy Commission Cauldron Master, Ling Sha. What? As well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master. Let his sword master. remain anonymous for the time being. What in the world? Why they needed me for this gig. <laughs> no wonder for name me for this gig. Summer Game Fest, the upcoming. Oh, dude, we're ready for this. I'm ready for the Summer Game Fest for this. All right, guys. Let's go, dude.